It's Monday, July 15th, and from WBHM News, I'm Richard Banks with today's headlines. Authorities in Birmingham say four people died in a shooting at a North Birmingham nightclub over the weekend. Police say officers responded shortly after 11 p.m. Saturday to a reported shooting. In addition to the four people killed, 10 were wounded. Investigators believe at least one suspect fired shots into the nightclub from the street. Separately, just after 5 p.m. Saturday, police found a wrecked car in northeast Birmingham riddled with bullet holes. A man, a woman, and a five-year-old boy, believed to be the woman's child, were in the car with fatal gunshot wounds. Police believe it was a targeted shooting. At last report, no suspects were in custody in either shooting. Both Democratic and Republican leadership in Alabama offer support for Donald Trump following an assassination attempt on the former president. Governor Kay Ivey, as well as both U.S. senators from the state, all Republicans, said they were praying for Trump. Other members of the state's Republican congressional delegation shared those thoughts. One outlier in the state party was Republican Lieutenant Governor Will Ainsworth, who posted on the social media platform X, quote, the radical left has declared a jihadist-style attack on traditional Christian values. Many Democrats expressed concern and called for unity. U.S. Representative Terry Sewell said on X that she, quote, condemns this attack in the strongest possible terms. And federal prosecutors recommend that former Alabama State Representative John Rogers be sentenced to 14 months imprisonment for charges related to a kickback scheme. The 83-year-old Rogers resigned from the Alabama legislature after agreeing to plead guilty to conspiracy and obstruction of justice charges. The charges are related to the diversion of money from a fund intended to pay for community projects in Jefferson County. Rogers will be sentenced in federal court in Birmingham next Friday. The Democrat from Birmingham was first elected to the Alabama legislature in 1982. Prosecutors say Rogers directed $200,000 of public money to himself and his then assistant. The money was intended for a youth baseball league. You'll find more news anytime at WBHM.org. And if you haven't already, check out our local newscast during WBHM's broadcast of Morning Edition and the Afternoon's All Things Considered each weekday on 90.3 WBHM Birmingham.